money. In this week's scriptures, Jesus shows where he stands in the religious community of his time. Um, He says to uh, the scholar of the law, you're not far from the kingdom of God because you know that obedience to God in love of God and love of neighbor is more important than any of the things having to do with the temple. Um, That did two things. Uh, It said that religion is a way of life, not just a way of worship. And that's something that we should listen to all the time. But also, um, it put him at odds with what had been a co-opted religious temple system um, at the time that Jesus lived. And so it was going to be costly to live this way. We experience some of that in these days, too. There's a kind of Christianity that gets wedded to government. Um, it's the the America above all kind of religion um, that's not Christian at all. Um, but it's hard to discern those kind of things and what to do. We're not we're not called to be. Uh, well, we are called to be critics. I don't want to back off that. We're called to look deeply and say, what does our faith say about the way we're living our lives as individuals and as societies, as countries, not the other way, not interpret our our religion um, to make sure that our religion can uh, uh, survive in the society. We're not asked to compromise things. Um, And so uh, it can be difficult to be faithful Uh, when there's things in society that's asking you to reject what you believe. And so the kind of core beliefs of Christianity about the dignity of the human person and the right to participate in society and the right to dignified work, um, the welcome of the stranger and the preferential option for the poor, all of those kind of principles come some sometimes come head to head with what society wants and the word of god says listen first to the dictates of your faith and ask yourself is this the way that god wants society to be shaped and so the word of god can be difficult in those times but that's one of the reasons we come together on sundays is to listen to the word reflect on it and realize there are people to our left and to our right who are struggling to do the the same thing to let the word of God shape their lives and through them shape the life of their society. So love God and love your neighbor. These are the greatest of commandments worth more than sacrifices and offerings worth the gift of your life. May almighty God bless you, the father, the son, and the Holy spirit. Amen.